Scorpio, hi, I'm doing yellow reading now. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Scorpio. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. If you are new, welcome and thank you for stopping by. Coral Tree Tarot here. These are timeless and general love tarot readings. So I'll just take what resonates. Now let's jump right into it, Scorpio, and see what's happening for you. Love relationships. What's happening? Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising. What's happening, Scorpio? Well, there is a bit of a resistance here. Did you see? Scorpio, Love Romance. What spirit wants you to know? Let's see. Scorpio. Got the tarot ready, and now I just want to pull some messages here for you. What's happening for Scorpio? Please show me what's happening for Scorpio. Both. What's happening for Scorpio? Okay, these two are fine. All right, we've got the first message, and it's a fresh start. So, um, this could be both things. This could be a reconciliation with someone from the past, or this could be um, just wanting a completely new, fresh start, new place, new person, fresh start, health. Okay, this could be someone um, that is a health nut, meaning they like to eat well, or you are a health nut and you want a fresh start. Now, remember these messages. These energies could be your energies or the person that you're asking about. Someone into healthy living, healthy a lifestyle. So that includes eating well and sports. Someone really active. We've got the second message, Max, sorry, the third, and Wolves. Okay, someone here um, is hiding. There's Wolves, there's, there's a feeling of being quite defensive and you know, keeping distance, holding you back at distance, meaning blocking you, not really um, letting you in to their life with the walls and the mask. There is something that this person doesn't want you to know for now about them, about how they feel about you, or there's something you don't know and they basically don't want you to know. Okay, there's something that uh, this person is hiding. We've got nine of wands. Well, here we go. I love when the energies sink in, um, but they want to work, and I feel this person is waiting for, for, for kind of your step into their direction. There's three of ones as the overall energy, um, but yeah, this this person clearly has walls up. They they are on a very defensive energy, um, but this is almost over. Remember the nine; it's almost ten, so new cycle. This page of cups in the past, I feel this person has been hinting feelings for you. This isn't like, you know, definitely this person, someone in some shape or form have hinted feelings for you or you have been hinting feelings for someone and this is your energy, meaning that you have walls up about a particular situation, about a particular person, you're not sure, you do have feelings, but you're not quite sure how to go about them. Okay? You're very defensive, but this person is very defensive. I am really feeling that this person is waiting for... I, I'm going to stick to the the storyline of this, that this is your person's energy. They're waiting for you to kind of take a first step. Three of Wands and Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, Pentacles is essentially a very um, beautiful energy because it, it expresses this person, you know, drive to actually work with you on over this connection, on this connection. They want to build it with you. I feel this person is putting you up on a pedestal. They see you as someone who's who's got more experience, okay? These two people are coming with some sort of plans. I feel this person is viewing you as someone who's, you know, 
has more experience maybe in relationships and love and that's why they're waiting for you to 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 take the first step towards them essentially they are the, on the they are very defensive so this is a very logical strategy come to me and i'll see this is what i'm getting come to me and i will see um yes this this tarot could definitely apply to a situation that is um concerned with an ex and restarting a relationship yes absolutely i you know it doesn't yeah it can definitely go, go both ways there is mask and walls we've got that then mask i wonder what's that tell me more about the nine of wands why does this person you know why are they so defensive i feel they feel that this is too good to be truth and the risk involved Ugh. okay ace nine of cups the fool and ace of wands yeah they feel that you know their the stakes are pretty high with the fool it's like it's pretty risky it's looking too good to be true you know that this is i'm clarifying the nine of wands for you okay this person is looking at you and they are going like this is very risky i'm not sure if i want to jump off the cliff this is looking too good to be truth. I better wait for Scorpio to come my way. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. I'm actually curious. Just to know whether this has got anything to do with reconciliation. Tell me more. Tell me more about this Page of Cups. Tell me more. okay this could be for some of you your ex because we have six of cups so again two scenarios here i think i had that for cancer um that this situation could be about completing your situation new new person and this is just an energy of of you guys being soulmates to one another but because we had a fresh start for some of you this is your ex wanting to um reconcile and have a fresh start simply because of this energy here i mean there, there was definitely a very clear i'm clarifying this page of cups so the six of pentacles is really telling me that there was give and take there was an exchange of energy perhaps there was some sort of imbalance so this is definitely for those of you that resonate with the fact that this is the person the ex-person and someone you know made some very clear cuts here, very clear um, decisions, thinking um, with this king of, king of Swords. But also with the King of Swords, I'm getting that this person, even though if there was imbalance, they knew clearly that you, you know, that they love you and vice versa. For those of you that, uh, you know, that this isn't your ex you are, that you are asking about, this person really wants a fresh start and i feel um they basically could have cut their ex out of the picture completely before um sort of opening the channels between you two okay like opening up about feelings and hinting that hey i you know like you i'm interested in you know dating you um and when that that happened this person in the past may have had to cut someone from their past it's simply because of the fresh start so for some of you two scenarios it does involve an ex and for others of you, it doesn't involve an ex and you are just soulmates that this person is aware of. Because uh, King of Swords is thinking, clarity, thoughts, logic. They are aware on a conscious level that you guys are soulmates. For those of you that, you know, this isn't ex that I'm talking to and, you know, on a um, dating app.
they are definitely waiting for you to um, take a first step towards them to initiate they put you up on a pedestal uh, Scorpio show me show me just one or two for the three King of Pentacles Page of Pentacles a lot of earth energy here mmm They definitely want to grow this, I would put it this way, Page, King and the Empress. It's like there is, there is growth here shown in these energies. Can you see it? It's Page and this King and this Empress. This is this person, this is how they visualize, this is how they see your connection growing. This is what's clarifying the Three of Pentacles. This person wants to grow it, build it. Not to mention that this person sees you as the one. Ooh, Scorpio. Very strong Taurus energy. Could be Aries. Also, Theo and such. Pisces as well. Um, this person is definitely taking, waiting for you taking uh, uh, on the action first, okay? That's the main message here. Okay. Scorpio. Show me one, this one. Choice. All right. So, and what's on the bottom of the deck? Chance. Excuse me, I'm shaking the table. For all the dice, this love is game of chance playing for keeps. It's anyone's luck. Um, I feel this is very strongly at this energy. Whoever, whoever comes from this energy, whoever is very, it's either you or this person or your person is very defensive. They, 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 they have walls up. Um, I feel this is, you know, masking. They might appear as if they don't care or nonchalant and they yes, I do, I do like you, but they are actually full of um, blockages, you know, inside them. So that's this energy. Um, Someone knows they, they they have to take a risk here, like really push themselves to to take that lead. Someone needs to take a lead because there's one person waiting, okay? You know, if there's two, person, two people waiting, nothing's going to happen. Logical. We have a choice here. So um, for those of you that resonate with... The scenario that this could be the ex resurfacing so that's the choice involved and this person made a choice they cut their ex because they are choosing to build a connection with you okay one message for Scorpio clear one message or two this one and this one I'm hiding my feelings from you yes we know that we've got a mask you are part of my story We've got this and we've got this, a very strong message. And also about being defensive. And when we are defensive, we mask everything, right? Um, that's, that's it. They have a very strong gut feeling that you belong together, that you are um, this person's fated connection. You are the one. One. This one. This one could be dealing with Pisces and Capricorn. We did have Taurus, a lot of energy, and, Ch and Chiron, sorry, healing. Um, this connection is going to help heal um, some stuff in your life, some deep wounds, <sighs> disappointments. You could be dealing with Pisces and or Capricorn. That's all that I have for you today, Scorpio. Thank you for your time and your energy. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button for me. It really 
means a lot to me. That's the only way that you can guys say that. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I like the way you do readings. Um, if this resonates, yeah, leave me a comment. I read all your comments. Scorpio, all the very best, and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye for now.